like I, I never, being honest, like I never thought that I was good at basketball. You know what I mean? Coming up, I, I didn't like it. I just wanted to, uh, you know, be with my friends in the neighborhood. But uh, Ben Finney, you know, Dorian Finney, big brother, um, and his mom, they took a, a liking to me as a young age and used to always call my grandma house and, you know, ask me to come to, you know, tournaments and play. And I used to always, you know, try to lie and give them the runaround. And uh, cause I didn't like it, you know what I mean? I thought it was like, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to be out in the streets, honestly, but it was a bad move. And uh, you know, as, as close as me and Ben got and uh, his mother, she just started explaining to me like, you know, just go, just try it and try it. And then when I first started trying it, I wasn't good at it, but you know, uh, Ben was really good at it, but he never made me feel uncomfortable. When he helped me feel more comfortable about playing the game, I was like, all right, cool. So the more and more I spent at their house and um, and went to practice, it started, it started carrying over and I started getting really good at it. And AAU teams in a different area, Boo Williams noticed both of us and had us go over and travel with them. So that's when it really started making sense to me. At first, it really didn't make sense. I just thought I was doing it for, you know, like, PRHA, you know, and in the neighborhood, but we end up getting looked at by big AAU teams and then we went from there. So I started taking it serious. When did you hit that like uh, growth spurt? Cause you have a what, six foot nine, six foot 10 with a seven, four wingspan. You now, when did you uh, hit a spurt where like you really stood out high school, that high school level? It was middle school. Like I was middle in school. Uh, yeah. So I, I started playing uh, summer of going to the seventh grade. And uh, by the eighth grade, I was already like, they put me in the newspaper by the first time I started playing. So um, I was like six, 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 seven at the time. I was tall and lanky, but you know, I was really, really skinny. So that was that was my growth spurt time, like by middle school. Then in high school, I had another one, but so I was tall in the eighth grade, like taller than all my teachers, everybody oh. in school. Like, How tall did you say you were in middle school? Six, six, bro. I was six, six in middle school. <laughs> I was taller than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I think I was uh in eighth grade. I think I was barely six two. I think I hit like five to six inches from eighth to ninth grade or something like that. But I was so lanky and uncoordinated. I mean, baseball was my first sport. That's all I really, really knew uh, growing up, and I, that's what I really loved. But uh, hey, bro, that's so. When did you really hit that uh, click, that switch where you just became that? you know, top player that everyone saw, uh, you know, being a, a number 12 uh, at, coming out of your class, being a McDonald's All-American, Parade American. When was that point where you finally got that confidence of like, this is my, I love this game. I'm really good at it. Uh, I see myself emulated in this person. Uh, when was that moment for you? Cause I feel uh, as though nobody just walked, you don't just fall into that level. Mine was, uh, I would say, I don't know why in eighth grade they had me and a guy named Derek Carrington. They had me rated number one. Him, we was going back and forth, but I didn't understand why. Maybe because I was running, but I, I still didn't think I was good. And then maybe I would say sophomore year or end of the summer of freshman year, going to my sophomore year, I went to Nike camp. And when I got there, it was guys who I was hearing about who I started seeing, like Lamarcus Aldridge, Rudy Gay, those guys. And uh, they kind of knew who I was as a young guy, you know what I mean? And um, from that point, when I was at Nike camp amongst all of those upperclassmen, and you know, uh, Kevin Durant was coming up at the time and uh, Greg Oden, and when people was comparing me to these guys who I thought like was significantly way better than me at the time, like they were still saying I was like, you know, a good player as well. So around, around that time, I started believing like, all right, cool, if everybody, Sandy, I didn't have an internet at the time. I didn't have no phones. I didn't know anything. So when I went around, people would know who I was. And I was like, you know, how you know me? Oh, you on the internet. But I didn't know, you know what I mean? I'm right. like, I don't, I don't know, you know what I mean? So when that started happening, and then one day me and KD had a, a conversation and, and we was playing NBA Live at the time and, and, and Nike came in the room. And he was like, yeah, man, you know, they got you ranked higher than me, but he took it personal, you know, at the time he should have, but I, didn't, I still didn't understand. So from that time, I knew who he was from just uh, like Jared Jack and our counselors at the time. Nike camp was all over thriving about KD. And when I seen him, I was like, oh, I see why, you know, this guy's amazing. But he was still looking at me like, oh, you can play. So from that point on, I started saying, all right, cool. You know, I feel like if these guys look at me like that, I need to start looking at myself like I can I can really do this. And that's when it started kind of changing for me. Around was, there, was there any like NBA player that you kind of, strove to look look to you know, mold your game towards or somebody like uh for me and not that I was but uh like him but Tim Duncan was always my favorite guy growing up and 
just just whenever we would play pickup, I always just try to imagine being like being like Tim Duncan. Was there ever a guy like that that you were like, you know, uh, I, if one day I make it to the NBA, I want to play like this guy? That that's another thing was probably one of my biggest faults as well. At that time, I was I was not watching basketball. Like you know, I would literally when I was done playing basketball, I would put my bags down and go outside. So I started just taking what everybody else was saying. People would say, you know. Uh, KG, but I didn't play anything like Kevin Garnett. You know what I mean? We looked alike, our resemblance, but after a while, you know, my AAU coach, Boo Williams, started telling me, you know, you can be like Alonzo Mourning. And then, you know, around that time, I started really, hey, Alonzo from Chesapeake, Virginia, he went to Georgetown. You know, I kind of wanted to go to Georgetown. Everybody was kind of forcing me towards Georgetown. So around that time, I would say Zoe was like the guy who I started taking off of. But other everybody else was comparing me to guys who I didn't even really watch. You know what I mean? So I didn't know. So I would say Alonzo was probably like the guy who I was like, okay, cool. I can be like Zoe, you know what I mean? Because I didn't have no skill set. I was like blocking shots and running the floor and rebounding. Hey, shoot, you can do that at a high level these days. That gets you paid. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to ask you, uh, going into um, that decision, making that decision from high school to college, the NBA hadn't yet implemented the 19-year-old uh, rule you know, if, if the NBA didn't implement that rule, do you think you would have made the decision and taken that jump? I was, yeah, for sure. I was, I, I was, uh, <laughs> I, never, I, I never forget the day it actually happened. We was at, we was at NBA camp in Richmond. And uh, in my mind, people was, you know, Georgetown, 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 you know, and uh, honestly, you know, I wasn't really a big fan of the, you know, the whole going to school for that long and all that. So I didn't tell them about it, but I just wanted to make the jump and see how I went, you know what I mean? And um, at the time, me and KD got close and a few other guys, and they made that rule when we was at, at, at uh, NBA camp. And that I didn't show it then, but that, like, broke my heart. I was like, man, like, I got to go to school now. Even though I don't think I would have been ready, I just was mentally was not ready to go to college. Like, I was just trying to – and I was in a tough situation financially. I wanted to get some, you know what I mean, some funds right. and all that. So I was kind of thinking ahead, ahead. But when that rule happened, it kind of – it broke me. Like, it really did break me, you know, so – I would have made the jump. I wouldn't have went to school, honestly. 